This is a short video on the progress regarding my Silex 720. I got the this mill 2020 in October and I wasn't here. I went on a uh, I was deployed with the army for a year and it has taken 13 months now to uh, get this thing powered up. So here is my American rotary phase converter, the AD 15, 15 horse. It's wired up. I've got uh, 247 volts coming out of this plug, which is a little higher than I than I thought. And uh, you know, it, when you add it all up, it means more volts on on the that go to the transformer. Um, I've got a 50 amp breaker in the box here, leading to a service disconnect, leading to a three phase plug that powers this transformer which in turn powers the mill so um, as I mentioned I've got a lot of more voltage going to the transformer than than I had anticipated so I reached out to uh, my rep with Sile he reached out to the engineers um, in China and they said uh, go ahead and try it and if there's no voltage alarm then you're good to go I even called the uh, American Rotary and asked them you know is this normal we went over all of my uh, measurements my voltage me measurements each leg and they said that it's operating within um, specifications so let's go ahead and uh, stir her up okay And I've got 265 volts transformed into 448, seven, probably 447 and a half. And this machine needs 380. Well, we'll see what happens. Go ahead and start her up. This will take a few minutes to uh, to load up the starting program. Well, I know I will get an alarm because I don't have the air compressor hooked up. Oh, the light just came on. Nice. Yeah. So I don't I don't have coolant. I don't have air plumbed. I just wanted to get it powered on as the first step. Here we go. Up. Oh. Zero zero three zero zero zero. Stop. No mode group ready. Well, I'll find out what that means. It's pretty though. Got a nice hum. Okay, so. Well, I'm glad I got that far. Um, yeah, one step closer to making chips, and uh, I realize now I've got a lot to learn. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I decided, you know, I'm at the end of my career, I'm retiring from the Army in in a year. I, you can see how long I've been home, been, been home this long, a few weeks, long enough to, to grow some, to grow a beard. Um, I've decided to use my GI Bill, go to school, and learn. Uh, there's a, I learned how to do this instead of, you know, putting all the pressure on myself and trying to figure it out, and, and to hopefully lessen the number of mistakes that I make on on this mill. I am going to a precision machining technology uh, school here locally for an associate's degree. Uh, I've got the GI Bill. The GI Bill will pay for pay for everything and give me some some spending money money every month. So I went and I met with the director there. Um, they've got uh, a full lineup of uh, of uh, Haas lathes and mills. Um, they I think the first semester starts out with all manual machinings. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. And I, I believe something. Uh, 
I'm trying to remember. NIMS uh, certification level one. I'll get out of it. So, yeah, why not? Why do it the hard way? But anyway, uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll be putting out more more YouTube videos, not only on uh, blacksmithing and woodworking, but also on some precision machining. All right, take care. Bye.